Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. In the last episode, we concentrated on building this little area up. We've got some ichthyosaurs and a mosasaur roaming around our natural lagoon. I believe the mosasaur is under there. Maybe she's going to get something to eat. Or she's just swimming underneath it. That was a weird zoom out. Um, we also started building up around here. Uh, around the hotel, which we've still got some dinosaurs being transported, we've got the Moros Intrepidus, the tiny T-Rex. Um, for whatever reason, they still don't think they've got enough sand, and they don't think they've got enough open space. How can something so tiny be so needy? I think I'm going to erase some of this, because they don't need the trees, uh, the forest. Now they're okay with sand, but we'll just uh, add a few more decoratives around. I'm still hoping this is going to be... No, no. Whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Right, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am actually going to open the park. So let's uh, open it up. We've got this section, this uh, toroid ready to go. So let's have a look and see what we want inside. Um, I'm thinking of making this into a... Um, herbivore enclosure mm, I think yeah Chasmosaur um, you need uh, fruit and nuts so no not you what's the um, Sora Pelter got going on uh, I could do yeah I'm going to do that as well because I do want to I can use the fibre and fruit which I guess that means we would have the Amara sauce because they can have some fiber so um I'm just gonna clear out this area first before I go too crazy with the veg with the uh, vegetables because I don't want it to be so I want to see what I've got to work with so um so if I have the water going across there like so Something tells me this isn't quite going to be big enough. Mostly with the Amargosaurus. Right, 
right, let's see how this works out. Because I don't think it's going to work out very well since I've only got, I've got a lot of forest in here. Amargosaurus, according to the paperwork I have in front of me. Another interesting factoid, its long neck meant it probably liked to feed on the taller branches of trees and such. At least that's what it says. Guess we'll find out, huh? <laughs> yeah, we'll have this as a donut shop and we'll cram a load of amenities in here. Have some donuts and ice cream. Yes, the uh, the Mosasaur has just leapt out of the water. wrong with you hungry there's loads of fish around are you why aren't you are you stuck no it's swimming it's just not eating but yeah there's loads of fish around Yeah, there's fish feeders everywhere. Okay, that, that's a weird one. Let's give him some hats. People need hats, it's hot. Oh, they actually need transport in this. Okay. I'm just dispensing all the fish now, so there's food running around, swimming around I should say.
They have got plenty. There, yeah, there is plenty of feeders in there. They're just not eating. Okay, we'll see how that happens. What? Well, for saying that it's there's not a lot of forest, and I have put plenty of forest in, and they have. Okay, I think I think I'm I'm okay with that. Deering. I'm extremely passionate about the dinosaurs and about our responsibility to take care of them. Talk about the opposite of subtle. And I don't mean Owen. No, this is the Chasmosaurus. It has dynamic coloring and these large openings called fenestrae in a frill that rises above its head. This is a dinosaur that says, look at me. So, maybe a little like Owen. One's feeding. Lambert deals with security and considering all that entails he often has his hands full with claws and teeth and uh, tails interested in a dinosaur with an extremely long tail then this dinosaur is for you it's called the Sauropelta covered in bony armor it has long spines projecting from its neck all that being said it is a relatively calm animal when placed in the right environment. Maybe this and a um that's nuts and a I was thinking a hadrosaur. That's fibre. I ain't got any nuts in there. I can't really take up much of uh, a lot of anything else. I think the Edmontosaurus and the Crefosaurus were both fibre. Fibre and fibre. The Iguanodon is... Oh, Motobutta is fibre as well. Oranosaurus is nuts. The Iguanodon's Fruit, I think. Yes. Have a little pond. I 
I think this will be enough in here. Cephalosaurus, or thick-headed lizard in Greek, which is where it gets its name. Claire has accused me of being this dinosaur more than a few times. It's also an herbivore, so obviously she couldn't be more wrong. About me, I mean. Acknowledging asset collection request. Yeah, I think that's not going to be the last of them. Yeah. is large, bulky, and has a stubborn disposition. It's called the Iguanodon. It's an herbivore with attitude. I'd suggest giving it a wide berth. I look like that one's that one's about to die, that one's about to die. Pretty much if all the ichthyosaurs die. I'm just going to replace all of them with potentially more Mosasaurs because I don't know what to do with them. At least I know that the Mosasaurs eating the sharks will... Yeah. We'll be okay. This entire operation started with a dream that was realized through science. For that, we can thank Dr. Henry Wu. Whenever a dinosaur dies, I feel like I've lost one of my own. Heading to collect the asset. Yeah, they're gonna drop like flies. Oh well. Mosasaurs it will be. I get rid of all the plant life I can turn into just more rock really into the yeah they're all starving to death go figure so okay so the Margosaurus are Oh, if they were to expand over there, they would have more forest. So, yeah, it's not not bad. Uh, going up there, I think I'm gonna have a toroid. Um. Oh, yeah, shelter. And they're moaning about transport from there to there, but I can't really put a monorail station in anymore. Or maybe if I just put a monorail station going up to there and up to there, that should. Maybe that will help with the transport rating. Let's, e let's experiment, shall we? If I put you there, what 
Well, I say, let's put you there. I'm going to have to put you... Come on. The only thing I'm worried about is I won't be able to bend the track around. I'm gonna have a look. Yeah, they swim all the way out here, and there's no way to get food. Maybe they should have wild fish swim in and, and sort it out. Um... Reset all the colors. Um, so, dig these saws don't really work very well in there. That's that's disappointing. Um, so around here we've got. Uh, let's do adoptions. Um... Root beer. Everybody loves root beer. I like root beer. If anybody was interested.
Let me know in the comments if you like root beer. Have a burger and fries place. And they get a nice little area to sit outside and watch the Watch the world go by. Yeah, they're all starving to death. Um, yeah, doesn't matter. I'm so there's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Five remaining. Oh, we need some lights. Uh, and along here, I'm going to use a different tree, because I used that. Or maybe just the normal trees will do. No, there's not. They're not very, uh... It's not very green. Yeah, they're all hungry. In... Apart from these three, these three aren't hungry, but everything else over here is hungry. I don't know why they're not using the uh, the feeders provided. So up here, I will do a um, I'll do some guest facilities in the middle, and then I'll surround it by a, with a few enclosures, with some uh, maybe some big carnivores and maybe a little something something. Yeah, that one's about to die as well. Wait for these Mosasaurs to get uh, ready. 
I think I will delete this and turn this one into a shark feeder as well. Yeah, this was a gonna die. Three, two, ah. Ah, there's a couple. So I went from having like 20 ichthyosaurs to having four. Six. So, yeah. Alright, so you want more toilets, do ya? No, oh, you can have one there. And you can have one by the lagoon. I assume you also want some... Some kind of shelter as well. You don't need it. Well, they've spread out a bit more. The Amarasaurus has also spread out a bit more. So that's neat. Yeah, so uh, in the next episode, we'll plan out the... We'll plan that out a bit more. I was hoping some trees would at least go up here, but looks like that's a no. But we can do a bit to there. Um, yeah, I, I think I want to put in the... Um, the Charcarodontosaurus. I think I want to do that as a, a biggie. Um... I think I want some bigger sauropods, maybe uh, with a, a, a Sega a Sega story as well. Um, and maybe a ferrothene saw as well. And if I have got enough room, a much bigger. Uh, Transor as well. Maybe a tran yeah, maybe a Transaurus as well. But effectively, yeah, I can I can turn that into like a general kind of public space. If I just put a like that. My circles always end up so rubbish.
not quite centre. I'll figure something out in the next one. So uh, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye for now.